Hey guys, well I am making a coffee creamer video. Um, I bought some of this Fruity Pebbles creamer that I want to try. So I already have my Keurig warmed up so now I can just put my coffee pot in it. And I just grabbed a, um, just a plain Starbucks, it's called Breakfast Blend. I didn't want to do like a creme brulee flavor and mix it with this. I don't think it would taste that good. So I just got like a plain coffee and I've already put ice in my cups because I'm going to make iced coffee. So I'm going to pop the lid, put this in it and stick my cup under here and hit the iced coffee button and I'll wait for it to uh, fill up and yeah so I saw this and this is uh, Fruity Pebbles cereal coffee creamer and they also have a cocoa pebbles but I couldn't find that anywhere but also um, this is International Delights brand and they have all kinds like they've got Hershey candy bar flavored creamer and just like all kinds of cool flavors but um, I'm gonna try this and this coffee will probably keep me up half the night but whatever so it's oh man it smells so good I have not made a coffee in a while because I've been going to Starbucks Okay, it looks like it's done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to add some more ice to this. So I guess y'all are wondering where Eric is. Well, he is at big band rehearsal tonight, so I got a little bit of free time. But he was supposed to be going back to work, which I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. But first, let me get this coffee out. Okay. Oh, that smells good. Man. Okay. So I'm going to add some more ice to this. So I will be right back. Let, I'm just going to add some more ice to this. Because I definitely need a bunch of ice. So now, I'm going to add some Splenda real quick. i got to have me some Splenda. So anyway, today is Thursday. Eric has um, big band. He plays in the Perry, uh, the big band, Georgia Big Band. And they have their rehearsals at the Perry Arts Center the first Thursday of the month. So, yeah, I look forward to the first Thursday of the month because I have a little bit of an evening. And um, let me stir this up. I'm going to add some more ice. Okay, let, me, let me just taste this real quick. Woo! Woo! That's strong. I'm not a coffee connoisseur so I really don't know how these coffee drinks are supposed to taste so anyway I'm gonna put I'm gonna shake this up a little bit oh I cannot wait to try this it smells good let's see let's see let me uh and I got these long spoons I'm all set for the coffee let me just go ahead and pour a little bit in here oh please let this taste good Please taste good. Okay. So yeah, Eric got me this co coffee maker when the um, quarantine hit and Starbucks was closed for a little while and I, I needed me a coffee drink and I couldn't go get one. Okay guys, let's try it. I'm trying it right now.
Oh my. Mmm. That is good, you guys. Oh my. Put some more of that in there. Like I said, I'll probably be up all night. Yeah. Yummy. Put some more spoon up in it. Oh wow. That that tastes good. Oh man. Wow. I bet the Hershey I bet the Hershey chocolate bar one tastes good. I'll have to get that next. Um so yeah, get get you some of this guys. Some oh wow, that tastes good. Let, let me try it again. Mmm. Oh yeah, I highly recommend that. So, okay, what I was saying about Eric having to go back to work, I was really excited, you know. He was just going in, he was going in on Wednesdays and a little bit on like Thursdays, but definitely on Wednesdays. So I knew for sure that I was going to have my whole Wednesday because he would go in the morning and go to work all day. And then after work on Wednesday, he'd go to church. So he wouldn't be home till like 745, maybe 8. So I had my whole day. I was, you know, that was my day, you know. Because since the pandemic, I've not had a break. So, anyway, he was telling me he was going to start going back to work and everything. They were going to, you know, go back to work on the base just a, a little bit, you know. So, he went last week and I was excited. And I was like, oh, are you guys going back to work? And he was like, yeah. So, then he comes home and he tells me that he's not going to... I didn't really understand at first what he was telling me. But I asked him, you know, why he wasn't going to work. So, he tells me they, they make, they're making him wear a mask. And I thought, because I had to give him a mask because I... I I threw all the paper masks away that he had. So I had one brand new one and I gave it to him. And I, he said when they walked in, they had to wear a mask. But then the other day, he explained it to me a little bit better. He said the reason why he's not going to be going to work is because they want him to wear a mask all day. So he is going to be at home still and you know if I was him I wouldn't want to be wearing a mask all day either I mean that's stupid so now on Wednesdays he's gonna be not leaving the house till about 5 15 instead of you know being gone all day like like he has been he's just gonna be leaving around 5 15 to go to church so now I really won't have a break. Barely a break. This is good. This is good right here. I highly re recommend this. Um, so yeah, so anyway, I'm not getting barely a break. Oh man. Whew. Anyway. And what else? Oh, I got movie tickets for this weekend, so I'm excited about that. We're going to go see, what are we going to, oh, The Suicide Squad. And then um, that Green Knight movie I was talking about. And then also, what else? Oh, the other day, these lazy kids at these fast food restaurants, I'm telling you, they do not want to work. I went to Zaxby's in Byron because it's like right, like five minutes right around the corner from my house. And, um, and usually I don't, I like to go inside to get my food. That way I can make sure my order is correct. Um, so I went in to Zaxby's last week 
because I had a free reward item on my um my app. I walk in, it's a bunch of teenagers working. I didn't see any adults at all. And they're just standing around. These two girls were standing on their phone behind the counter, not doing anything. So I walked up and one of the girls walks up and I start to talk to tell her my order. And she just walks off. She just walked off. And I'm like, oh, okay. And um, so I was sitting there and I was smiling, you know, just had a smile on my face. Luckily, I was in a good mood. Luckily, I wasn't in a bad mood. Because if I would have been in a bad mood that evening, oh, man. And I wasn't hungry, like hungry, hungry. So I was... I was in a good mood, so I was just standing there like, what the heck? And the two teen girls were just talking, I'm thinking, is anybody gonna take my order? So they finally, she finally, another girl walks up, takes my order, but first I wanted to scan my phone to get my free thing, my free item. And the girl, it wasn't scanning, you know, I held my phone up in the the scanner went scanning, so she um, unplugged it and it's and plugged back in, and it still wasn't working. She tried that a couple times, and she's trying to get some help, and none of the other teenagers working knew how to help her. But you know, I I was standing there being patient because that that wasn't her fault. I mean, if the thing wasn't working, you know, that wasn't her fault. I was mainly irritated because when I walked up. And I started to talk, and then the girl just walks off, you know, and I'm just standing there. And then, you know, when I walked in, they were on their phones, like, ugh, it's kind of, you know, not cool, you know. So then the girl takes my phone, she said, can I take your phone? And she took my phone and went over to the drive through scanned it over there or something, I don't know what she did. And then rung me up at the reg. I mean, she fixed. I mean, she rung me up. So, but my point in what I'm saying is, like every fast food place I go to, is a bunch of kids working. Nobody wants to work. The back McDonald's drive-through is so stinking ridiculous. They don't let you go in and order in the evenings, so the line at the drive-through is long. We've been trying to go to McDonald's for a few weeks, and every time I go to McDonald's in Byron, it's you can't go in and order, and you you got they got the line in the drive-through so stupid, and the same thing at Popeyes in Byron. You can't even go in. You got to go through the drive-through, and I see people on their cell phone. I saw I drove by Popeyes, and I saw one of their employees. Sitting outside in the parking lot on her cell phone. Click, click, clicking. So anyway. Man, this coffee. Mm -mm. It's good. So yeah, I'm just about had it with, you know, going to fast food. And But luckily, luckily, like I said, I was in a good mood. And then also, when I go to Zaxby's. I like to, um, when I get my food, I go out to my car and I check every box to make sure everything's in there. So they got my order right, thank goodness. Oh, but then about, oh, let's see, maybe two weeks ago, I, I went into Zaxby's and I had a free, my TV's going off. Um, I had a free meal at Zaxby's, so I went in, and the girl scanned it, and then also I needed to buy another meal and pay for another meal, you know, buy one. Well, when she rung it up, you know, I was gonna give her my debit card, so could, and she, I don't know what she did, but she didn't take my payment. I mean, I don't know what, how she rung it up or whatever, but... I got my other meal free. So I was just like, well, you know what? 
if she rung it up wrong, I don't, I don't know how she, what she did, but whatever. Um, cause I gave her my, I was trying to give her my debit card. I don't know how she rung it up, but hey, if I'm not going to argue it, I will take another free meal. You know, that's their, that's her mistake. Whatever she did, if she wants to give me a free meal, I'll take it. Um, I don't know if you guys have tried eating at Chili's in Warner Robins, the new Chili's, but I've been there three times and I'm not impressed. I've been there three times and it's not that great. I mean, a lot of people were like, oh, Chili's is so good. And I've been there three times. It's not that great. There's there's better places to go eat. So, Chili's, is, mm, but I'm telling you, Metropolis Grill on 96 over there by Dunkin' Donuts, that little shopping center, that's some good food. Half of it is Indian on the menu, and half of the other half is like Greek. And um, their Spanakopita is so good, and I mean, I I tried Spanakopita. I went to Greek Town when I lived in Michigan. I didn't know what Spanakopita was, um, but it sounded good. And and I really I remember not really caring for it at that time. I thought it was something else. That's why I didn't care for it. It I thought it was going to be like a quiche with you know a crust, like a you know crust, but Spanakopita is phyllo, the phyllo dough. Um, but I really like it. And then we had for an appetizer one day when we went over there, falafel. Um, now the falafel at um, I don't know if you guys have eaten at Pita here in Warner Robins. It's on. It's over there near. Um. Minchie's in that shopping center and um eric and i got <coughs> uh falafels over there and i took a bite and i was like oh this is good but then when i started eating more of it i was like ew this is gross but the falafel at metropolis grill they are so good and they give you like a little sauce to dip it in so I, I would recommend going to Metropolis Grill. Um, but yeah, Chili's is a no. Mm -mm. Um, but I don't think there was any other restaurants. I mean, just Metropolis. It's a really good place. Oh, and Thai Pepper. Thai Pepper and Warner Robins is really good too. But I just wanted to get on here for a little bit show y'all my coffee creamer this is some good stuff guys um i'm gonna be doing some more videos i hope you guys go and watch my angelo and veronica cd review my mukbangs that i'm doing i got package hauls on there i've got concert videos what else but i just wanted to get on here and see what everybody was doing this evening and i'm gonna get off of here for now so please go comment on my videos click the like button go check out my makari store um go click the link you gotta go click the link you can't search by name so my username so go click my makari link and I will talk to you guys another time on another video i'll i'll have probably more more biggie stories and things to share so go go check out my other things on youtube